Hi, Dennis Weiss, our town. Back in my honest to God favorite place in Abilene, Kansas, the Eisenhower Presidential Library in the office that just exudes Ike with Don Hammett, the executive director of the library, museum, boyhood, home, the whole place. The whole place. With a new welcome Mr. President inaugural button flag thing that changes your view as you move mm -hmm. your head. There's the coolest a, thing in the world. You know I like to have new pins for you. I'm telling you what, that is something. It's. I hope we can get a shot of it. We may have to take a close up of that after a while, Dave, because people need to see that. I, I enjoy it. You dig in the deepest point of the darkest forest and come up with these things every time we show up. Just for a conversation with you. I'm telling you, I feel honored. So, but we have here in front of us, yes. the event of this year, maybe the event for a number of years because mm -hmm. you don't do 75th anniversary of D-Day except once just the in a lifetime. Yep. And it's coming up it's first coming weekend up. of June. Um, it's, it's faster than we know, isn't it? Blink of an eye. Yes, so you're right. Our Symphony at Sunset is June 1st. It's, mm -hmm. it's our annual commemorative uh, D-Day event. However, since it's the 75th, uh, this year's gonna be more, more than uh, usual. So, would you like to know about it? I would love to know about it, but I get to tell you what I know about it what first. What do you know first? It's a test. Uh, well, here, look, I'll even turn the paper over because here's what I know about it. I think we're probably sitting at a point in time where this is either the last time or close to the last time we will see a significant portion of World War II participants show up at the Eisenhower Library because for, for us it's a party, for them it's a chance to remember. Mm -hmm. And they will be here and in a way that always turns my heart, I have to tell you, it's always shockingly impactive to my soul when I see these people. And that's what I know about the 75th anniversary mm -hmm. of D-Day. This is a life moment for them that you and I can only see through a kind of a, a smudged Distance. window. Yep. You're you know, right. It'll be very special. You're right. So let's talk about what we're doing then. Okay. So Saturday for the symphony event, uh, we're actually starting the activities on the campus at noon. Uh, we'll have the pop-up museum like we usually do, um, the food vendors like we usually do, but we're adding to it. We're having um, some military reenactors on campus. Super. Some military equipment on campus. I heard that we'll have a Sherman tank. I sure hope so. I We filmed a Sherman tank here once before, Elizabeth and I did. Yes. And we filmed Jack Ford on that day, and I've probably told you that story. But so we know that we're going through a museum renovation, mm -hmm. but what I think is going to be cool on this particular week of events, we'll have another museum right out there in the parking lot and along the sidewalks, right. because it happens every year at You're this right. event. You're right, so we'll have the color guard, the commanding general's mounted color guard again. Okay. Um, we'll have uh, our Ike education programs, We'll be all over campus. We'll have, um, I think, about five or six Ike education programs in addition to the things that we generally do every year. So it's going to be a big year. We have a, a speaker uh, lined up for that day, for Saturday. Um, the, the, the Children's um, um, Symphony Orchestra. Okay. Uh, um, cello concert. And Everyday Lights with a special singer. Uh, for the symphony concert, it's uh, we are overwhelmed with how how much we have to do or uh, to, for our community to do. So you and I have been uh, uh, doing these things for a while, and uh, our passion about Eisenhower uh, we own rather well, and you wear it rather well. And I have this little measly pen over here that I wear, but uh, underneath it is like a heart that beats Eisenhower. I like I just want to tell you the pen contest. So you know, my heart beats as hard as yours when it comes to Eisenhower. I know it does. But as we, as we look at this as an event on this campus, my goodness, as a community, the, the wider community looks at this event uh, beyond the fun and the things and the educational opportunities, this will bring thousands of people into really our town. Right. This, this again will put Abilene at the center of the world map because Dwight, David Eisenhower and D-Day, which is a world event, it's not even just an Eisenhower event. Mm -hmm. This is a world event. Mm -hmm. D-Day happened to the world, not just I was, Eisenhower. I was actually in Normandy recently, and they, they were already starting their um, wow. freshening up, if you will, yeah. to prepare for the masses. So did you 
give them the verbal tour of Abilene and tell them how um, great it is that we have the library here to honor Dwight David Eisenhower? To a certain select few, I did, yeah, actually. Well, the lucky ones. I did. Right? I did. There's one thing that I'm trying to get for Saturday. Okay. A flyover of World War II airplanes. I'm trying to find some funds to do this. How but much I'll, do you need? I need $1,000. I'll give you $1,000. I'll take $1,000 okay. for a flyover. Okay. Let's book it. Yep. We'll get that done. Two World has War II airplanes happen. has yeah. to happen. Has to it? happen. We're really excited about that. So that's wonderful. Um, uh, so that's Saturday. Saturday's going to be a big day. We're expecting a lot of people. Uh, we're expecting a lot of um, activity. And uh, um, bring your bug spray. Bring your lawn chairs. Lawn chairs uh, make this a, a, from a, an event uh, that you can enjoy a little while to an event you can enjoy all day because mm -hmm. you move your lawn chair. Mm -hmm. You can move around to things. That's true. You can well, rest the, in between your walks. And the pop-up museum, we always ask for our community's participation. Uh, so the pop-up museum is a moment for you to you know, be a curator, do, do mm -hmm. your own museum. Uh, no weapons. No weapons. No weapons. You ruin all the fun. I'm telling you. Federal operation. No weapons. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what are the reenactors going to bring? Just uh, asking. The reenactors. Potato um, sticks? No. Huh? The, re the reenactors have a special security protocol that they have to go through. Okay. So special they will security be. protocol. Yes. Okay. I can live with special okay. security good. protocol. I'm Probably glad. a good idea and all. I'm glad. So yeah. Sunday, we will have a concert. Um, on campus Sunday afternoon after the after the symphony on Saturday. Right. Sunday there'll be another concert, and then uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday we have films and guest speakers. There's a World War II veteran panel that is being developed, so we get to um, uh, listen to the veterans. Going to do that in the visitor center. Yes. Um, all week. Is somebody going to ask us to bring a camera? Maybe. And all week long, we'll also have our Ike education programs going on throughout the campus. Yeah. So all, all week, there'll be things to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the culmination, if you will, will be on Thursday the 6th. Uh, we have about somewhere around 60 World War II veterans that we're expecting to be here on our campus for the 6th. Mm. Uh, it will be a somber, uh, military, mm -hmm. commemorative, wreath laying type mm -hmm. of event. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we're really excited that the veterans have chosen to be here with us on that day. Uh, local VFW participating in that? They are, with a vigil okay. as well. All right. Well, so on one hand, fun. On the other hand, such a serious time of Absolutely. remembrance. But Absolutely. it all happens here on this campus because Dwight David Eisenhower left it for us to do this. Mm -hmm. We're doing our job, man. We are doing our job. We are doing our job. And we're, we're honored to do it. So who's your favorite speaker you have coming? I think I'm really most interested, uh, well, I'm going to say two things. Okay. I s I'm going to say I'm most interested in the veterans panel. To okay. me, to hear yeah. their experiences from their voice is, mm -hmm. is sort of what we do in a museum. That's, that's right. our job. Um, however, we also have Nigel Hamilton coming. Um, we have Adrian, you know what, we didn't write the names down, That's and I'm okay. going to tell Nigel you Nigel Hamilton. Here. Nigel Hamilton. rings a bell. So he is a, an author, a scholar, um, and he will be talking to us about uh, the war and D-Day. Okay. So everything we're doing is all about sure. um, the war. It's, uh, we won't be doing presidential scholarship at that time. Okay. So you have a raffle for a free day of rummaging through the archives planned? Why do you always? <laughs> well, you have to keep trying. <laughs> you are always welcome. All of our citizens okay. are always welcome. Yes. To, but wait, you use the word rummaging, rummaging. and that's yes. there, probably not appropriate. Well, you know, there's there's research and, and there's- And there's rummaging. Rummaging, and, no. and rummaging is, is kind of more up my alley than the other. But we'll I could, you know, I'm hoping to retire one day, right? At least a day before I die. Okay. Well, what, that day is going to be we'll devoted- We'll pull all the boxes you want. To rummaging. Okay. So you have to get it, you have to get some plan together before then. Because oh, I want to rummage through, you know, uh, maybe the 88th Infantry Division uh, time in Italy. So you can give them a hint of what to start looking for. All right, I'll try to remember and write right. it down. Well, we have it on film. Thank goodness. You just play it for them. <laughs> Thank goodness. All right, so D-Day, 75th anniversary. Um, we were making jokes 
before the camera came on the same way we do while the camera's on, yes. but we're talking about John Wayne and things. You just went across the water, spent some time in Normandy. Uh, I've never had the pleasure of standing there. I, I can't imagine that uh, uh, my feet would not feel the vibrations of the coast if it I was, stood there today. It was incredible. And uh, Rob and I went actually, and um, I'm very thankful that we took one of the tours because we wouldn't have known the places to go or we wouldn't have known specific things. Uh, so we were at one of the beaches and our tour guide said, um, um, the ground is just divoted. Mm -hmm. And uh, the tour guide said, the oval shaped holes are from um, projectiles from ships mm -hmm. and the round shaped holes are from projectiles from the air. I'd have never, right. never contemplated that without mm -hmm. my tour guide. So you're standing on the berm over the beach and it's, I say divots, but yeah. it's caverns. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's this oval shaped one and I know that this came from a projectile from a ship and there's yeah. a circular one and that came from a projectile of a plane. Ships land this way, airplanes land this way. My, right? my skin's crawling right now yeah. thinking about it. It was, it was incredible. So as we uh, talk about a fun week, really, we're going to have a fun week for the public here mm -hmm. at the library. And uh, D-Day as an event was such a serious thing. Mm -hmm. Well, in, in between, there's such great scholarship. We don't know what the viewers are interested in. Right. That's well, why well, we, we kind of do. They're interested in almost everything. Right. Somebody is. Right. Well, that's right. why we have such a plethora of activities. I am always amazed uh, because of the openness and I guess the fact I've seen all the researchers troop in and out mm -hmm. of here, how the opportunity to learn about our history as in the life and times of Dwight David Eisenhower and presidency and all of that is right here. Mm -hmm. If any of that is of interest to them, either for the purposes of their own knowledge or scholarly interest in writing a book, they can do that here. They can come to Abilene on June 1 through June 6th and, and see the people that made D-Day happen. Absolutely. And I, unparalleled opportunity. Okay, so what's a fun thing for kids that you're most happy about well, that we day? Well, we have um, all of our educational um, programs um, uh, actually what I'm really most excited about is we have some new history cards that the Ike oh. Education Department put together with the new exhibit. Uh, the Education Department has had to sort of augment or add to or change um, their educational programming. Okay. Um, and what I'm personally most excited about are the history cards that they've developed. So the history cards will be able to be pulled out. Um, guests can just stop at and um, you know, spend five minutes, spend 30 minutes, it doesn't matter. It's just uh, meet you where you are with this activity. And oh, I am really excited about the history so, cards. So give me a visual of what a history cart is going to look like. Uh, what they've purchased are literal carts. Okay. And then within the cart will be hands-on activities. Uh, so the one that I got to look at was about propaganda. So we'll have propaganda posters mm -hmm. and concepts about why uh, why the propaganda on the home front was important. What did this poster tell us to do? This poster told us to plant gardens. Why? Um, and so it's a, it's a contained uh, educational Are topic. Are we going to have a poster that talks about be sure and reuse your old tires? We should. I'll, I'll, I'll double check. we do. I'll double check. And I don't know if you know this, but the foundation has um, 75th anniversary caps. Uh, that no. for a specific donation, you get this cap, and they're beautiful. Will they be selling them? Yes, we'll have here. them at the gift shop as well. Okay, excellent. I, the trivia question I'm putting out there for the audience, don't feel the personal burden of this, but there, there, there is probably somebody has somewhere in their family archive one of those old posters about Save Your Tires oh, I'm because sure. it was in farm country that I'm they sure. did that. In fact, I have a, a friend up that way uh, whose wife is still alive, who's of that generation, who still has a grain bin full of old tires because after these times, huh. he never could throw a tire away. Wow. Just this changed people's lives and how they lived them, it did. especially here in the Midwest. It did, and that's something that um, I've always been interested in is, I mean, I know that it was a global war and I mm -hmm. know that it touched everyone on the planet, but how did it touch people on the planet? So you mm -hmm. know I lived in South Carolina and that was the textile capital of the world. 
Um, I guess they would say it still is. And so their contribution, that region's contribution to the war effort, effort was in textiles. Mm -hmm. And so they were very proud of the webbing, um, the parachute webbing. They were very oh, really? proud. Yeah, That's that, interesting. that the mattress ticking turned into flotation devices for the Navy because their mattress ticking was so well woven. And so, so to me, it's interesting, your regional contribution to the war effort um, is different than others. So you're describing that the Hammett family could put on a pop-up museum and talk about textiles, and nobody would have guessed that that was a war effort. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So the, your pop-up museum, that exactly. if you're hearing and watching this mm -hmm. and you have an idea, th this invents for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so, well, that was in South Carolina. We're from South Louisiana. Yeah. Rob's grandfather was in the petrochemical industry, so he was making jet fuel. So he was, Rob's grandfather was never um, um, drafted because he was in such an important industry, making mm -hmm. fuel, not jet fuel, but fuel. And it brings up the point that we have never concluded our session on how a high octane gas changed Darn the it. outcome I of the air war over I Europe. I opened the door. <laughs> you on did. My own. You did. You Rats. just walked right into it. Just Rats. as easy as can be. <laughs> but you know, I'll bet somewhere on June 1 through 6 here on this campus is somebody will be there who knows the answer to that question uh -huh. and I may get a chance to meet him my because I'm going to be, be here. here. You can talk to him. I will talk to your <laughs> uncle then. But it's going to be a great time. It really will be. I'm Can I steal a it. little time and ask you about the museum? Because sure. we're going to be right next door to it. Sure. We would have loved to have had it open for D-Day. Life intervened. It happens. Well, I want to thank you, first of all. You, you gave us some breathing room that we weren't talking to you for some time because we needed... Uh, our team needed some office time. So it was quite a sacrifice. I, I, I got to tell was, you. But please know how thankful we are because okay. we were really, really busy. Yeah. Um, I went into depression. I'm Pretty sorry. Sure it was. I'm very sorry. Yeah. So because of the things that occurred in the past several months, we we are not able to meet our June 1st deadline. We're terribly upset about that. Um, so for the D-Day week, our exhibits in the in the library building will still stand, of course. Mm -hmm. um, I am. I've been to the museum quite frequently, in fact, yesterday, and it is amazing. It's going it's to be amazing. unbelievable for us. We have um, our, our custom-made cases have been delivered, and the cases are being installed right now. There's, I don't know, six or eight uh, people that came in with the cases to, have the, to install them. Uh, the cases are incredible. Mm. And, um, of course, you know that they're all LED lights, right. which I'm overjoyed about. Uh, what else has been in place? Uh, um, I don't know how to call it. Um, the structures that hold the graphic pieces okay. are being placed um, and installed. Um, well, the, that's really the foundation of your digital exactly, presentation, right, exactly. for the future. I, I, that's such a game changer. We've talked about it before, but not in a while. Th that presentation to young people and the ability to quickly modify that mm -hmm. and make things fresh and new, that's just a game changer for We're the museum really industry. About it. In yeah. fact, yesterday, um, William, you know William. Sure, waved at him this morning yep. across William campus. William and I uh, went in and there's, there's going to be a projection table uh, that shows the, the, the entire war, uh, World War II, and we decided where it was placed. And so we walked in the building and we were like, okay, we want it here. So for us to be able to make that decision and see it in, mm -hmm. in situ uh, was yes. pretty impressive. So Mamie's cases are installed. Um, um, what else? Um, some, of the, some of the giant murals are in place. Okay. And we are just overjoyed. So we're thinking July time frame. It will, yeah, late July. We're gonna, mm -hmm. we're probably gonna do a real soft opening. Okay. Um, maybe it'll be a good time to see if there's any sort of, uh, uh, you know, glitches in the system that we need to deal maybe with. Maybe you could give us a tour through your soft opening. And I would love we'll, to do we'll, that. We'll digital. You can make it available to people all over the world. I would world. love to do that. Okay. We're really, really excited about it. Yeah going to be fun. Well, so I'm going to I'm, I'm going to make sure people understand that this week yes is an opportunity for the museum is to be where you can touch it. You know, I like touching that I, stuff. Me too. You don't probably even have to bring your white gloves to the one no. that pops up out here, nope. right? Nope. But there will be D-Day World War II history right here along the sidewalks in the parking lot on the grass. There yep. there there will be more people here interest with common interest yes. this week. Yes. And you could imagine. 
Mm -hmm. It's going to be so fun. Two minutes left. Two minutes. Dave just gave me the two. So um, the museum sometime in July, end of July, end of July. We'll, we'll still have the grandest thing either side of the Mississippi. And I have to tell you what I saw on TV. What'd you see? Watching with my son last night, and he always selects what we watch. It so it was mega weapons of the Nazi Empire, and they were doing the tour of these old destroyed buildings, and mm -hmm. and is actually in Poland. Uh, and they 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 were said this is where the table set, and they were describing it, and you could see that we still have our table. I just thought to myself, mm -hmm. we still have our table, and it's right here in Abilene, it Kansas. Is. It is. The, the table where the decisions were made that generated this event mm -hmm. and the rest of the European theater. I discussed that with people yeah. in France. They were flabbergasted Isn't that we that have the something? playing table. Ah, yeah. oh, such a thing. You can't even imagine what is here at the Eisenhower Presidential Library and Museum. Your imagination only reaches to the bottom edge of reality, and it's going to be uh, D-Day anniversary, 75th, June 1 through the 6th, the great event. Dawn, it's going to be a fun time, but it's a fun day every day, as mm -hmm. with Eisenhower. And meaningful. Yes. All right. Okay, or we think we're done. I think so. All right. Thanks Can for Can we being do here. it again? I'd love to. Okay. My name is Dennis Weiss. I work for Eagle Communication. Don Hammett is the executive director of the Eisenhower Presidential Library Museum and Boyhood Home. Has a great D-Day celebration coming up for you the first week of June. Would love to see you here. Have a great day.